At the beginning of the 19th century, many people believed that the Earth was probably only a few thousand years old. But by the time Dickens started writing in the 1830s, not only had people begun to believe that the Earth was millions of years old, but there'd been a series of spectacular fossil finds all along the British coast, some of which are detailed here in this lithograph called Duria Antiquior. This lithograph is important because Dickens had it mentioned in his journal all the year round and told readers to go and look at it for a depiction of what the prehistoric world that had just been discovered might have looked like. In it, you can see a very typical Victorian representation of prehistoric life. You can see the pterodactyl discovered on the Dorset coast. You can see the ichthyosaur coming up and feasting on its lunch in the waters. In fact, it's a very violent idea of what the prehistoric world might have been like. All of the creatures are eating something else. This is also typical of Dickens's writing on geology. In the very famous opening to his novel Bleak House, he has a megalosaurus waddling menacingly up Holborn Hill. But he also writes about ichthyosaurs across his fiction and imagines London, what it will look like when it's reduced to fossils and what kinds of horror, modern horror, will be contained in the fossils that it leaves behind. Dickens' excitement for geology can be seen in this section of the exhibition, Charles Dickens, Man of Science.